Total Body Care. So today we are starting production on our shower oils, which is our after shower oil. Um, I am going to start with our turmeric oil um, because we're still waiting on one of the raw materials for our blueberry oil. So I have my large scale here, which I'm using um, an industrial scale because we're measuring in pounds now. Whereas any other time we'd be measuring in ounces because we'd be doing a small batch. So now we're not doing a small batch, we're doing a larger batch. Okay, so I got some long gloves, which is what we're gonna use. Um, you guys know I hate these gloves, but I'm using them because we're now in production phase. So I got my long glove here. And I'm gonna get all of my oils together. So I already have our base oil here. And then I'm going to get our turmeric oil, um, our almond oil, which I thought I had already. Our hemp seed. So we have our hemp seed. And then we need our almond oil. So I'm gonna grab a large jug of almond oil, which I thought I already had. Okay, so we have our almond oil as well. And then I already have my fragrance mix. So I'm gonna go ahead and put, why is this on? I'm gonna go ahead and put my glove on, even though I'm not actually putting my hand in the bucket. Still gonna put my gloves on. These gloves actually come all the way up the arm, but I just cut them. I can't stand them, they make me sweat. And I actually have on some of our Jamaican turmeric after shower oil today. All right, so this particular scale is very large on purpose. It's actually made to weigh packages and, and larger items. So I'm gonna go ahead, turn it on and tear it off. Tearing it means to empty the scale so that it reads as zero. Um, this is also, I'm not gonna say something that we'll talk about in tomorrow's class, but tomorrow is our Launch That Business class, which is our first business class in the business building curriculum, where we're gonna go through how to actually launch your business and get you guys geared towards your success in launching a successful business and getting what you need to launch that successful business. So if you haven't already registered, now is definitely the time to do so. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put in our turmeric oil and also our almond oil. The almond oil is a lot easier for me to pour, so I'm gonna pour that first. So we already have our base oil in here, which is sunflower oil, amazing for the skin, okay? This is a brightening oil. So this is for brightening. And I know I'm gonna use more than one gallon because actually a gallon is only supposedly eight or seven and a half pounds. So I need way more than that. And just as I said, so I'm gonna go get one more. Right, okay. All right, so then we're gonna add a little bit more. It's the only thing I hate about this scale, it dies out. I don't know why. Point All right, so we have our almond oil in there. 
Now we're gonna go in with our turmeric oil, which this one is not so easy to pour because this one is in a five gallon bucket, but what can we do about that? Nothing. All right, so we have our turmeric oil here. I'm gonna go ahead and clear my scale again. The turmeric oil is really rich in color, you guys. You see how yellow that is? We infuse our own turmeric oil here. And I don't think this jug is gonna hold all of this. All right. We got our turmeric oil in there. This jug is already. I'm gonna go ahead and pour in our fragrance. So this is a skin fragrance oil. That's what's gonna make your man eat you alive. Okay. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and add our um, olive oil. I kind of have a feeling that I'm going to have to take this off of the counter. But let's see. Well, you know what? Let's see if I can put it to pounds. I'm going to make this one my, um, my scale for right now. So we got our olive oil there. I dropped my top, I'll get that What I don't want to do is go spill that. Then we're gonna add our hemp seed and our avocado. And then lastly, our avocado oil. So I'm gonna make this oil blend on this scale. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these off. My arms are sweating, you guys. Okay, so let me write something down here. Okay. So now, this big drug right here um my fear is that it is not going to hold all of this but we are going to attempt to do that so i'm going to move this drum this bucket if i can uh, okay i did and i'm gonna pour this in here And if I tell you, it's literally at the top. Literally at the top, you guys, look. So this is a five gallon, bu five gallon bucket, but it's literally at the brim of the bucket. So I have to be super careful trying to mix this, which I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm going to do it. Yeah, it literally sits at the top of the bucket. Like, I'm talking like the brim, the brim brim. Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah. How many gallons would you make it? That's, that's five gallons. That's, no, but it's all about that. You're making exactly. It's going to make about 90 bottles. Are you going to add more stuff to it? No, I'm done. I'm done adding now. Oh, okay, okay. But my fear is how am I going to pump this? Now I'm wondering if I should use the tube so it can suck it from the bottle, suck it from, suck it from the bucket. Bucket, yeah. Because that's oil. You want to put that in the street. In which one? That one. The, this one that we clean? Yeah. So should we use the manual hopper? I don't want to use the big one. It's only five gallons. Oh, yeah. That's Think it'll work? I, I prefer to use that for like scrubs and stuff. It's better. I'm gonna have to, but I think I'm gonna have to use um one of the little cups and pour it in. Okay. I haven't even mixed it yet, so that's my next my next thing is um, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna mix it. I can also use the, the Like it might be. What do you think? I feel like it's gonna make it float over. All right, can you give me the other one? So we are gonna have to mix this a different way. Okay. So we're going to use Okay, I think you have to already have it down in the bucket. No, it was down in the bucket when you plugged it in. All right, just mix with it. Yeah, we're gonna have to just do it like that. We just spilled a ton. <gasps> and the, the outlet went in it by accident. Uh, okay. What is... The good ah. thing is it's oil, so... Yeah, that's a good thing. Ah. We spilled some of the gold, y'all. We spilled about an eight ounce bottle of gold. Oh, it All hurt right. me more than it hurt you. <laughs> All right, I'll just walk to it to the sink. Okay. Listen, we always have these bright ideas. So I think we need to get some 10 gallon buckets. The taller ones, you know the tall ones? Yeah. We're gonna need those, <laughs> it's ain't gonna work. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. Okay, so I'm gonna set up the hopper. The bucket? Yeah, we should have used that. That'll have to be for the body oils then. All right. <laughs> Big fail. Can I get those cylinder box? Cylinder? <laughs> Can you put it on top of the cart for me? No, 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 put it on top of the cart. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that was so funny, y'all. Well, and I'm actually putting yourself yourself. Oh. When I, uh, when I started mixing everything up, girl, I had the, 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 the air, I see it was going down. Yeah. everywhere. And then when I turn on the cover to mix it, it's 
still splattered in your face? Yes. That is true. <laughs> Guys, we can't make this up. I promise. <laughs> we cannot make this up. It's always some type of massive spill in here. Always, you guys. Like, always. All right, so I'm going to use the manual hopper. And then we're gonna use these bottles. So the bottles for this is our cylinder bottle. So our oil will go into a clear cylinder bottle. We actually have those, but I said I was gonna do smaller batches for the first one. We have that and I didn't use that. So yeah, here's what it is. But they're gonna go into these cylinder bottles with a spray top and they're clear. So we're trying to keep the same style on almost everything. Clear bottles, um, clear jars, so you can really see your product when it comes. So let me go ahead and sanitize. So this is 91% alcohol. I'm gonna put my glove on only because I have to use a small cup to even be able to put the um the oil in there. Put my ear pod in, get my grooves going. on board like that. Smells so good. Oh my gosh.
All right, <laughs> we're ready now. So this is our bottle. I, I can't use this. It would drive me nuts. So when you're first doing it, it's gonna have air bubbles in it. It has to settle. It has to settle. So overnight it will settle. And that is how you know you're ready to ready to go. <laughs> Here we go. Liquid gold. You're gonna love it, I promise. I need a step, we have a step stool. We have one, I just never wanna go get it. We absolutely do have a step stool, I promise. What are the ingredients again? So turmeric oil, um, sunflower oil, avocado oil, olive oil, hemp seed oil, skin safe fragrance, and almond oil. So if you have a nut allergy and you cannot use any form of nut oil, our delicate line is great for you. That line has no nuts in it on purpose because we wanted to make sure that we could cater to those who do have nut allergies since it's so common to have nut allergies now. So that oil is able to be, that whole line can be used by those of you that have nut allergies. The delicate line is oatmeal and honey. There's no nut oils in that mix. Crazy. When, when, when? I'm a baby. As soon as I cut the So most companies put their shower oil in a white bottle because they don't want you to see what it looks like. Me personally, you need to see what it looks like. Check them as I go, make sure they're right. you been? I think you're still trying to mess with other women, men. And your mom a week later, we will. That big girl, they don't cry. Saying you, they don't. You will not till the day you die. Just so you guys know, I have my earpod in playing my music. So our um, elite growth simulators came in yesterday. So those will be going on the site this weekend. You guys will be able to get the growth stimulators this weekend. We're actually gonna do a bundle kit for the growth stimulator as an intro kit where you will get a goddess hair repair serum, 
and the growth stimulator tool together. So you guys will be able to use that. Uh-huh. I'm still in love with babe. 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 Go ahead and rep her dog and represent Woo to the fullest. Who can guess what song I'm singing? Stop playing. Look at them beasties and bras. Oh, oh, oh. I'm still in love with babe. I'm still in love with babe. I'm still in love with babe. So we are going to do the launch on the body care site all at once, you guys. Okay? So the body care site launch is going to happen all at one time where all three collections, including our dark spot corrector collection, all of them will be launched at the same time. So the launch date, I will announce um, the moment I know when the labels will be in. So that's why we are already going to, we're starting production now because the labels usually only take about maybe a week to two weeks to get to us. Usually that's like the max. So my hope and my goal is that we can launch on the hair Halloween and body Halloween sale that we have every year um, on Halloween or the weekend of Halloween, whichever one. Um, so we try to we try to like be strategic with the launch dates. You know what I mean? Like you want to be strategic, and why not launch new products that you want people to try and love on a sale, right? So you're more willing to try new products when it's on sale. Which, my tribe, they will try products regardless if it's on sale or not, but you guys know I'm all for a sale. I'm a stickler for a sale. Okay, I buy anything when it's on sale. So I just try to carry that over to my people. I'm still in love with babe. is actually working on all of the um, hurricane of a sale orders today. We finally got our internet back, so everything is back up and running. So you guys should have started receiving um, tracking numbers earlier today. to be able to use our products. All right, who can tell me what song I have now? And there he was, this young boy, the stranger to my eyes, drumming with his fingers, singing my life with his words. Yeah, Lauren Hill. Softly with his song. With his word, 
okay, I'm good now. I know what goes where. Thank you guys with this song. The new music cannot amount to the music that we had before. The new music is hover the bubble the woman to shoot, shoot, shoot. And F R E E and all that other crew when I sing. Uh-uh. These are real songs. The new songs are made for foolishness and dummies. And we're each one alive. But he just kept right on Tommy with his fingers Singing my life with his words Killing me softly with his song Killing me softly with his song Oh, the generation now? I definitely feel sorry for them. They're bringing a the generation of dummies. Softly. The music now is made to destroy their mind. That's all. Junie says that all the time, you guys. That's one thing I will give him. When it comes on to understanding generational curses and all of that, like he's very good at that. And he says it all the time. He's like, the things that they put out now is to make us kill each other so they don't have to do it. Or break up happy homes. Now, don't get me wrong. Some things can be said, but some things shouldn't be said out loud. Like the F and F, that song. I mean, it's okay to feel that way, but do you need to put it on the radio? Strum in my... Yes, he would sing. Killing me softly with him. his words hey Siri next song Ooh, let's see who knows this song baby let's see who knows this song yeah yeah, yeah, he don't, he, he don't understand, so give it to me, cause I can show you about a real love, and I can promise everything that I do is just to, let's see who got it now, caress your brain. Oh, thank you, Lynn Rose. You know, my alter ego was an American Idol singer. <laughs> Demolate your mind, strengthen your spirit. Let's see who gets what song that is. Hit on the, get a little closer, touch you right. Who you like a man supposed to? ride like a soldier he don't understand you like he don't understand you like so give it to me give it to me baby show you about a real happy birthday miss jerry it's just to satisfy you y'all still haven't figured out what song i just gave y'all the whole the whole chorus Any woman of get it herself. Thank you, Kimberly. Oh my gosh. Yes, it satisfy you. I mean, the man might have done what he did, but I still love his music. So it is a feature. It is R. Kelly and Puff Daddy. Satisfy you.
he don't understand you like I do. No, he don't. So give it to me. Cause I can show you about a real love. And I can promise everything that I do is just to satisfy you. You don't have to wait. You don't have to wait on him. You don't have to wait. You don't have to wait on. You don't have to wait on him. I'll satisfy you. Cat, I was saying for you, okay? I won't do you wrong. Wait, I want my hands to dry. For you, down for you. Turn cheese in the soil. Do a man for you. Or I treat you royal. As I simply adore you. He don't understand you, yeah. like I do, I do. He will never make sweet love to you. What did it say? Now for a present, you can blow some of that voice to me so I can praise him. <laughs> Y'all so funny. He, he don't, no he don't. He will never make sweet love to you. If I can show you that. <laughs> Cat, why the handle just came off? Y'all saw that? Y'all see the foolishness that be going on here? Mm-mm. Cordy. Girl, the thing just came off. <laughs> I thought you spilled Almost something. spilled another bottle of liquid gold. Oh, no. Can't afford that one. No. Say, look, you can't, if you wanted to, these expensive, these red bottoms, these blood shoes. Huh? Really, girl? I have to leave here in a few minutes, actually. Do, do, do. So this kind of worked out. Last night. Let's see who knows this song now. Do, do. All right, let's see who's been listening. I need three ingredients that's inside of our Jamaican turmeric after shower oil. I need three of the ingredients that's in this oil. With this blank expression. And the way I feel. Let's see who can tell me three, at least three. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Mm. Turmeric oil, sunflower oil, and fragrance. Thank you, Meredith. Correct. So, yes, three of the ingredients turmeric oil, sunflower oil, and skin safe fragrance. Almond oil, absolutely. Thank you guys. And Monica, you are so right, girl. If you know this song, you know. If I told you once, I told you twice. Y'all know I can't sing, but it's okay. See it in my eyes. I'm all cried out with nothing to say. You're everything I wanted to be. You could only see your heart belongs to me. I love it so much. I'm yearning for your touch. Come and set me free, whatever yours I'll be. Baby, won't you come take this pain away? Oh, last night. I made my own part up. Couldn't get an answer, baby. I should never stop you sitting there.
you so much. I'm yearning for you. Come and set me free. Ever yours I'll be. Baby, won't you come take this pain away? Last night. Hi, Daddy. Hey, my dad's on there. Hey. Tell me, baby. Tell me, baby. Sitting there. My kids were here and they heard me singing. They'd be like, come on, mom. Can you just let the song play, please? Can you just let the song play? Tell me what there is to say to make you come back. Oh, hey, yeah. Last night, couldn't even get an answer. Try to call. Call me, baby. Oh, why don't you just tell me, baby, 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 baby? That's why she's not singing for a living. Really, Dad? My dad is such a hater. He said that's why she's not singing for a living. My dad. He's like, that's why she doesn't sing for a living. I need you, and you need me. This is so plain to see. I will never let you go and love you so I will. You can only see your heart belongs to me. I love you so much. I'm yearning for your touch. Come and set me free. Forever yours I'll be. Let's see if I can get it. Y'all ready? Mm mm. Uh -huh. Y'all ain't gonna get me. <laughs> get your baby at home. Call me, baby. Oh, why don't you just tell me, baby, 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 baby? Thank you, Miss Ada. Say it down, no. All right, y'all. Can I get a time check, East Coast, please? Why don't you pick up the phone and dial up my number and call me a baby? Why don't you pick up the phone? 141, thank you guys. I'm waiting on you. Wow. Y'all heard those vocals? Oh my gosh. Do, 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 Hey Siri, next song. Let's see who knows that song. Two, four, six. Oh, wait. But the miss some. Woo! Two slides I can hear this. This is the ridiculous bad boys. Picked in my dick. Ridiculous. My bad mind like landmines. So you know, Junior Mafia. Right. In the middle of the day now, baby, I seem to think of only. Good job, Monica. Six, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, sixty, 
65, 70, 75, 80, 85. 85 in the back. Can't you see? You and me, we're meant to be your baby. Pat, can I get the sprayer? So it made 85. Great, and you said 90. That works. Well, it would have well. Well, we could have made 80, 86, but it's fine, you know, it's fine. You don't have to cut these, right? Huh? You don't have to cut these, right? No. Okay. I can't wait for the day that we can be together. I can't let you walk away. You and me, well, I'm meant to be your oh, baby. There's nothing. Cat, these do need to be cut. They're too long. Yeah, can I get the scissors? It's too long. Can't you see it? If you guys know this video, you know that this is how they danced in it. Especially the lead singer. Music, money. What would you do to me? Oh, I won't be together. So this is you and me. Oh, 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 baby. Oh, baby, can't you see? You were meant for me. that isn't that beautiful oh my gosh oh my gosh oh do i make a man oh baby what you do to me i know i'm meant to feel do i make a man don't they because these are already in here, I'm not gonna mess around with them. Sorry, Dad, she sounds pretty good. I know, my dad is a hater, y'all. Can I get a time check, East Coast, please? One forty-seven. Okay, thank you. With octane. Now I gotta hear it again because I can't stop moving my arms. Thank you, guys. Woo! Ridiculous. I'm trying to book with you the week of December 11th. So you'd have to wait until October 15th. November and December opens October 15th.
all that bull for the birds. Who knows this song? Vulture, ah, ah, ah. Always hoping for the words. I think we're just gonna say that the launch for the body care is gonna be October 31st during our hair Halloween sale. I will have a better update for you guys um, within the week. I'll know exactly when we'll get the labels in. And then if it's still close to that date, then we'll just leave the launch on that day. Yeah, yeah, because you gotta leave it. Whoa, whoa. Mad but so what? I wish you best of luck. Now I'm finna throw them deuces up. Tracking my deuces up. I'm moving on to something better, better, better. No more trying to make it work. Make me wanna say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye to her. Chris Brown, can I ask a question on your email? Um, you can ask a question here if you like. Go ahead and ask your question. And you know women lie. So who is signed up for the business launching class tomorrow? I'm ready to call me some. could always run to oh 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 I'm checking my deuces up to her. I'm moving on to something better, better, better. No more trying to make it work now. Bye bye, bye bye. Uh huh. Bye bye, bye bye. To her, yeah. Deuces. We ain't got no in tomorrow. Hard to swallow. Never complaining. I'm with Usher Raymond. Later on. Oh, 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 oh. How can I get my hair done? Will be my first time i want a piece on top like a mohawk style i wear my head bald um i would say book a consultation because that that seems a little more descriptive than i can give you an answer without seeing your hair so what i would say is to book a virtual consult so that we can chat um that gives you a 30 minute consultation where we can sit and talk about um, style choices style preferences what's available to you maybe you might need a cranial prosthesis service you maybe not, but I won't be able to tell you without seeing your hair. So that for that, you need to book a consult, you guys. To her. So if you have no hair, then you still need to book a consultation so we can discuss options and style preferences. How do you order your products? So we have two sites. We have our body care website, which is where we house all of our soaps, body and skincare products, um, including our new, I forgot to tell you guys, um, our new Yoni products. So we have our Pretty V Rosy Yoni Wash. And then we have our Pretty V Yoni Oil, which is a hydration and ingrown hair oil. So those are also going to be released during the launch. Um, and then our hair care products, you can always go to Elite Hair Care 
usa.com. That's where all of our hair care products are. Huh? So you get something to eat? Okay. I'm gonna leave in a few. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna make that one so All right. No, how much long, how long do you think? Because I am leaving in a few. Uh, if there's a line, I can come right back. All right, well, if, if I leave, I'll just pull down the bay door. Okay. All right. Um, okay. I'm talking my dudes. I'm moving on to something better, better. Thank you, Grasshopper. No one trying to make it work, no. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Can I get a time check, East Coast, please? One fifty-five. No problem. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I'm almost done screwing on top, so then we're just gonna put this um, to the side. I'll probably put it in a box and put it to the side so I can title the box of which oil it is so we don't get confused because they all have the same look. The labels are just different. So I'm getting started on production now. Um, even though the labels are not here, you can still do your production because you wanna make sure that when the labels come, all you're doing is loading the label machine and running things through. If you wait to do production when, if you wait to do production when your labels come because you gotta be super perfect, then you're gonna be very behind and your launch is gonna be pushed out. So we pre-start, that's why you guys have been seeing me working on making sure the formulations are right, making sure we have all of the product information right because you can't make labels until, I'm gonna take this out my ear, you can't make labels until you know 100% that your formulation is what the formulation that is the formulation that you're going to use. Because guess what? Your formulation can be you love it, love it, love it. It sounds great on paper. It looks great. It smells great the first try, right? And then you let it sit for like a week or two and then you go back and you're like, you know, I think that I can improve this product a little bit more. Let me improve it before I go ahead and start production on it. And that's how this works. So when you're doing production and you're doing product creation and formulations for yourself, you do wanna make sure that everything is to your liking before you go and get that label created. Don't rush and do it. Because if you rush and do this, you're gonna in turn spend hundreds of dollars that were unnecessary, right? So that's another reason why you guys will see me on live. Number one, it's a great promotion for my brand. Promoting your brand can easily be done by just talking to people. I sit on here and I chat with you guys and we laugh and we talk and I dance and I sing and I do all of that good stuff. And as I'm doing all of that, I'm also promoting my brand. I'm promoting my products because you get to watch me do it. Yeah, so while I'm sitting on here and I'm talking and I'm laughing and I'm vibing and we're having an amazing time and you guys get to watch us make product, that is all a part of promotion, okay? That is promoting your brand, number one. That's promoting you. That is number two, allowing people to trust your brand. If people cannot trust your brand, how do you expect them to buy from you? That's like super important. You have to build rapport. You have to build trust. You can have the most amazing product on the planet, but let that product not be heard of and not be seen, and that product is short of amazing. It means nothing because it has nothing that anybody knows about, okay? I'm on Elite Hair Care. I'm talking about Elite Hair Care. YouTube is where I found my niche, and that's where I choose to stay. I have an Instagram. You know, I use my Instagram whenever needed, but I found my niche in YouTube, and that's why I'm on my YouTube because this is what has really built my brand and I found my place in the world, so I use my YouTube as my promotion. At the same time, as you are building a brand, you can also be monetizing your YouTube channel, okay? So every time you guys see me on here, when I'm on live, whether it be I'm doing a Q&A, or I'm formulating product, or I'm packing packages, 
or we're just talking. I could just be driving up the street like I always do. You guys will be with me in the car, me and the kids. I go live, I make videos, I'm doing like, now I'm trying to get more into the creating shorts and stuff because that taps into a market of people that I don't get to see a lot of because these are new people that I can bring towards my brand. And that is how you, you really can launch a brand just that simple. Like people think that it has to be super perfect for you to launch. And I used to think that way, so that's why I can tell you guys that it doesn't have to be super perfect for you to launch. You can launch at any given time. Okay, what I will say is, which is also another reason why I have my business, my business building academy and I'm so passionate about it, because you need someone that's gonna be able to sow information into you, even though you still need to do the homework yourself, because there is a such thing as self-help. If you don't have someone that you can trust or, I don't like to use that word trust a little too lightly, but someone that you can look to for advice, or even hear their trials and tribulations, how are you going to bridge the gap between you and your business? How are you gonna bridge the gap between the resources that you don't have and the resources that you need? How are you gonna bridge the gap between practices and operational procedures that you don't even know exist because you're doing it through trial and error, which is exactly how I launched my brand, through trial and error. A lot of what I've done, I did through trial and error because number one, I'm not trusting of everybody, right? And then because I'm not so trusting of everybody, it, was, it took me a very long time to be comfortable with paying someone to teach me something. Because I always looked at it as it was a gimmick. I knew that they were gonna hold back and the whole objective was for them to now push me into some form of membership or, or something of that nature. And you know, most African Americans don't want none. They got a contract on it. Okay. Um, but. I had to kind of get out of that mindset and get out of my own way. And a lot of people want to launch businesses, but you're in your own way. A lot of people are in their own way. Or you want somebody to launch the business for you. All you want to do is give the idea, and then when you give the idea, you want to sit down and watch your hands folded up, and you think that you're going to be Master P and have all these people right behind you, and they're going to make this business successful for you, and you've done none of the work. You know nothing. All you did was trust somebody and hope and pray that it works. And that's not how you launch a business. You launch a business because you're passionate about it and you like what you do. That is the easiest way to launch a real business. If you like what you're doing and you see that you can profit off of your brilliance, launch a business with that. Okay? I'll use my father as an example. Let's talk about my father. Y'all don't really know Mooney. Mooney's a street man. Okay? But my father's also an amazing dad. Okay, when I say amazing dad, an amazing dad, all right? My father is one of those people where he makes things and he creates lanes and doesn't even know that he created a lane, right? So when he made Moon Spice, not knowing that he made Moon Spice, all he was doing was something that he just was passionate of doing, okay? My dad likes, he likes to cook and it rubbed off on his children because myself, my brother and my sister, we all like to cook. Okay, we like to cook because it makes us feel good and it makes other people feel good and we like to eat. Call it what it is, that's why your girl's trying to lose the pounds as, as we speak. But at the same time, my father, when we got to Jamaica, he's like, hey, I saw you was cooking and I, I, think, you should, I'm, I'm, I think you should use this spice. I made this spice for you. Use this on this and use this on that. Not knowing that my father had created a whole business from something that he just liked. It's just a passion. And then here comes Crystal with, well, daddy, why we can't make this into a business? Why we can't build a brand from this right here? Why we can't make a couple ducats from this? Because this is a great idea. And the season is it's actually bad. It bad. When somebody say bad in, in Patois, let me tell you something. When we say bad, that means it's good. <laughs> it tastes good. That's what we mean when we say something bad, right? But then also you can't say something bad and it really is bad, okay? But he, he was able to bridge the idea and here comes his daughter who was like, well, daddy, because you know, I think dollars and cents. How can we bottle this and make it into a product? Which is exactly what we're working on now. We're trying to bridge the gap between getting all of this stuff, thank you, um, brown sugar, between getting all of these items that we need to make moon spice in the US, okay? And figure out how we can get these spices imported into the US, and then we can now create this product that can in turn make money 
and build a business. That is how you successfully launch a business in layman's terms, okay? Don't follow these people where they sit there and they tell you, hey, you gotta do this. You gotta go on here and you gotta find this. And I was able to make $20 million from it. And you use the motivation as them telling you they were able to make $20 million from it. Not them telling you that they absolutely adore what they're doing. Not them telling you that they loved and they had a passion for what they were doing before the 20 million came. They're now just telling you that they made 20 million and now you're motivated because all you heard was 20 million and you think that you are gonna get a part of that $20 million. But you've done no work. You have no care, you have no love, you have no want for it, but you're willing to do something because they said that they made $20 million. Just like that raggedy ISO tea that everybody was selling that nobody wants to use now. All you guys saw was girls who had their bodies done, like myself, okay? Girls who got their bodies done and wear waist trainers, and then they woke up one day and said, girl, I lost 40 pounds and I got this snatched body by using this tea. Now I make $15,000 a week and you can do so too if you join my team. And here you go, jump on the bandwagon, join their team thinking that you're about to launch a business. You don't even drink tea. So how is it that you are selling tea? You don't even drink tea. You don't even like tea. So how do you plan to market this tea? By a lie? Because any business that you build on a lie will die on that lie. Any business you build on a lie will die on that same lie that you built it on. If you build that business on passion and love and energy that you are going to know you're going to put into that business, that business can do nothing more than go up from there. You know why? Because your entire heart, your entire being is into that business. Not because of the dollars and cents, not because it's work, but because you like to do it. I like product formulation. Who knew that Crystal was gonna be a chemist or formulator later on down the road? Who knew that I was gonna like formulation? I don't like chemistry. But because I like this that I'm doing and I love hair and I found my lane, I said, well, why not? I can learn how to formulate too. And I taught myself formulation. And I asked the right people the right questions at the right time. I didn't ask them to give me the game. But I know that if I call this one person, if I call my chemist right now and say, blah, 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 how can I use AOS 40 to emulsify with cocoa betaine? And he's gonna say, blah, blah, blah. You know why? Because I came to him with a specific question telling him that I'm passionate about what I'm doing and I need a solution. Not, hey, how, um, how you made that shampoo that you made the other day? He's gonna look at me like, well, you want me to just give you the whole recipe? Because I've been here 20 years and no one handed it to me, so why should I hand it to you? I've been here 20 years mastering this, and here you come. So how you made that oil that you made, that you made the million dollars on, how you made that? And you expect him to tell you. That's not how it works. That is not how it works. So if you haven't already signed up for my business building class tomorrow, and the person that I just said is you, then you need to be signing up for this class. That little $69 won't kill you. Go and sign up for it because that $69 is going to be me giving you the game to get you started and get you moving forward on this little idea that you had in your head. That you keep in your head and you keep talking about how you're going to start it tomorrow. Oh, New Year's Eve coming. My New Year's resolution is I'm going to start that business. That was your New Year's resolution a decade ago. And you still at your house working this 9 to 5 at McDonald's. So let's go ahead and move forward now. Let's move forward. Let's move forward. Okay, good. Let me get a box. Let me get a box. I cannot tell you how many times I've received an email from someone or a message on Instagram and their hairstylist, hey, um, I wanted to go ahead and launch a product line. How did you launch the product line you got? Where did you get your products from? But if you don't get out of my DM, what you say? If you don't get out of my DM and come pay for this class, if you don't get out of my DM and come and pay for this class so I can teach you how to self-help yourself, we cannot talk. We cannot talk. It's called consulting. That's also a business. I'm able to build a business off of an idea, off of something that I know, which is a passion. That's how businesses are really built.
okay? Walt Disney wasn't built just because he thought it was gonna be a cash cow. Amazon was not built because it was gonna be a cash cow. They built these businesses behind a concept of something that they needed or something that they liked, something that they loved, something that they knew that they were missing that they could not get access to. So you know what they did? Well, let me go ahead and build this business. Walt Disney, maybe you just were so unhappy in life and everything was not making you smile. You wanted a place that you know that you can send people and it's gonna brighten their day and make them the most exciting and happiest person on earth. So you built Disney World because maybe you were that sad person that was seeking that same happiness and couldn't find it. Amazon, maybe you wanted a place where you could say, oh man, I can sell my products on here and not have to have a brick and mortar and someone can help me push this and I'm able to offer my products on a smaller platform and make bigger money and not have to think twice. Wow, so let me go ahead and build Amazon. That has now become the biggest conglomerate outside of Walmart on this planet. Every country has Amazon, every country, every country. And this is bridged from what? Passion and idea, not somebody saying, hey bro, I want you to open Amazon in your garage, open it in your garage, and I'm gonna give you everything that you need to build it right now, and then you're gonna be billionaire next year. That's what people look for. People look for the million dollar idea that you don't have to do no work to. Come on now. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. I had no clue when I launched Elite Hair Care where I would be. I launched it knowing that I was gonna be successful. Yeah, I bred life to that part. I knew I was going to be successful, that part. I knew I was going to be. I put that energy there. I put that word out there. Now, did I know that it, the success would take a lot of ache, a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, a lot of wasted money, a lot of employment, a lot of employment issues, a lot of uh, money down the drain, a lot of bad business practices, a lot of bad business deals, bad relationships, sleepless nights, not so sleepless nights, make money, not make money, right? COVID lose a staff, add a staff, get this, lose this. Who knew that part? But I still did it. And I'm standing in this purpose right here, 10 toes down. Who would have thought that this is what I would be doing? And I'm just Crystal who stands behind her chair one day. And I said, you know what? I'm not afraid of the camera. I can talk to myself all day long, just like I'm doing right now. Well, let me just start making YouTube videos of me doing people's hair. And as I started doing people's hair, I'm like, well, let me stop promoting everybody else's product. Because when I was doing my Q&As, I was giving you guys other people's product. I'm telling you other people's product to go buy. And I said, well, wait a second. If I can successfully market your brand and bring you hundreds of thousands of dollars, then why I cannot do that for my own products and stand and live in the purpose of my products because I know that they work because I use them. And I'm openly live all the time showing you my products that I'm using. Not an influencer that I paid, but because of my passion and my love, I was able to bridge a business and launch a successful business. All right, let me um, try to, I don't know how I'm gonna move this box. I don't know why I stuck this box in here like this. gonna take this one home because my girls they like to use everything that I make that's my supporters yep I'm about to leave right now I was just about to leave too Kat I need a favor I have to go right can you clean right here for me and then can you title this box um turmeric body turmeric after shower that's the after shower that one is done Okay, I gotta go and get the kids. Okay, I know. I know. All right, you guys, let's roll out. Thank you.
All right, Kat, I'll see you later. Thank you. Hey, how are you? You can set it there, it's fine. Yeah, thank you. Cat, Amazon. Got to go, y'all, Monique, time to pick up from school. Yep, Dad, I'm going right now. It's time to pick up the kids from school because I got to get them early. Alex has a swim meet today. So I'm headed there now. To get Alex. Man, it's hot. Happy birthday, Mosey. So that is another reason, like I said, you guys, this is why. Oh, it's building academy not because i learned how to profit from my brain because i did that I, I know how to do that that i can do but at the same time i have a passion for helping people and i never knew how to bridge the gap between having a passion to help people and also profiting and building a business from you helping people i help people for free every single day all day long i help people for free all the time and it's not even about it being free because when i launched elite hair care and when i got on youtube i got on youtube with the aspiration that i could redo exactly what i did with my weight loss line because that's when i first discovered youtube i discovered youtube through me saying i wanted a place to um share my weight loss products and there was another girl that i worked with at this company by the name of Acorn Stairlifts. If you are in the UK, like Olive, you might have heard of this company. It's a chair that you sit, it's, it sits on a rail on the base of your stairs. And it's for those who are disabled or cannot go up the stairs and it takes them up the stairs in a chair. It's called Acorn Stairlift. When I was working there, I met a young lady. And when I met the young lady, she was already doing little YouTube videos. And basically she was like, yeah, I do. I use YouTube to sell my products. And her videos were really about her doing makeup, but apparently she had lost a ton of weight from the same products. So I said, okay, well, you know, how do you do the YouTube thing? Like she would just go on there and just be talking. So one night in my apartment, my kid was my kids were asleep. I had two kids at this point and I had launched the weight loss product, but I was selling it locally. I was selling the products locally. I wasn't selling them um, online. Like I had a website, but I didn't know how to promote that just yet. I just knew that like I had a, I had a website and it was to kind of tell people like you can go online and order my product. But most times, you know, back then online was a thing, but it wasn't like a huge thing, but it was a thing. Now, mind you, this was over a decade ago. So the internet has been around for a very long time. My hair has grown so much. Yeah, it has. It's, it's, that's how I like my hair. If y'all don't know, this is the length that I like my hair. My stylist complains because it doesn't hold anything, but I love big hair. I've gotten ad adapted to big hair on the top of my head, not the sides in the back, but the top. All right, well, let me get back to the story. Don't, don't sidetrack me. You know, how, you know how I do. So um, when I spoke with her, me and her actually don't even mess around. I did a story time about her before um, because she tried to get me blackballed so that I could not sell product because she was selling product. And I had such, such success from the products, I had lost 23 pounds in 30 days using these crackhead pills. That's what they call, we call them liquid crack, okay? They were called crackhead pills. But I had everybody in my city losing weight overnight. And then the FDA recalled them years ago, but we're not gonna go there. We already talked about that. So I started to get on YouTube and all I did was get on YouTube and share my story. And my first video on YouTube was how I lost, my title was how I lost 23 pounds in one month. And that video is what opened life for my weight loss products to the point that I didn't even have to care about local sales anymore because I had started to make so much money from me just sharing how I lost 23 pounds and a picture of myself 
and everybody wanted to do that at the same time it wasn't about being thick like everybody now want to be thick and sloppy back then it was like everybody wanted to be a barbie doll everybody wanted to be snatched like everybody wanted to be skinny they didn't care about the curves like that they just wanted to be skinny so when that when that started for me I started doing YouTube videos on the regular like I started doing videos just about my products and I would just literally it was like two three o'clock in the morning trying to build my business two three o'clock in the morning just running my mouth on YouTube talking about the pills talking about the ingredients like I would just make up topics talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and I was never on a live platform I never went live okay because remember YouTube live is kind of new I never went live it was always me making a video recording it and uploading it so later on down the road fast forward when the weight loss business had kind of went down because the FDA had recalled a lot of the products remember you got to pay the piper when you're doing this and all the pills we were getting they were coming from China and you know the piper is not being paid when you're getting stuff from China like that so they started to seize people's packages and close people's bank accounts and seize people's money so I had to quickly get out of that industry and one day I, I was at home this is since me and Junie's been together for 10 years now I was at home and Junie was like babe why don't you go back on YouTube with your product and I had already launched the goddess hair repair serum I had launched it already but I was launching it locally and I had just kind of got away from YouTube I just wasn't into it after the weight loss because I, I didn't know how to bridge the gap I did not know how to bridge the gap so Junior was like, why don't you go back on YouTube, babe? And I took his advice. Um, I took his advice and I got back on YouTube and I started making YouTube videos and also going live. And I said, well, let me go live and help people. And in turn, by me helping people, I can refer my product if it helps them at that time. So I would do Q and A's as I was bottling, as I was doing orders, I would be on YouTube. Some of you have seen those videos where I was in my little bedroom in the back corner of the house and it was not the nicest place to be, but I was in there and I would be bottling my oils and I'd be doing Q and A's. And at that point, I'd be talking about other people's product. I was okay with referring other people's products because I did not have shampoos and conditioners. All I had was edge control and a serum. And my serum and my edge control, what made me stand out was the fact that I incorporated CBD no one in the african-american community had had put any form of cbd in their products because everybody was scared of it but i wasn't scared of it so i went ahead and i put that product out there and i launched it as a cbd hair repair and hair growth formula my edge control and my goddess hair repair serum and from that very moment my business took off you know why because not only was I sitting on YouTube every single day while I was processing orders, bored as heck, I'd be sitting on there and I would be literally telling and helping people with my expertise as a cosmetologist. So it didn't feel like I was doing work because I was already a cosmetologist. I already had all the information in my brain for free. So I was doing things that stylists would not do. Stylists did not want to share trade secrets or inside tips to fix your hair. They wanted you to come to them. But you know what was the catch to it? The gig was, you know what the catch was? <laughs> you know what it was? The gag, you know what the gag is? As I was sharing these things about inside things of how to care for your hair as a cosmetologist, it was still bringing me clients sitting in my chair. You know why? Because I was giving information, but that doesn't mean that I'm giving willing to give you information that most people I was able to do that for free. I already knew it. It didn't require me to make any extra effort. And I was able to bridge that gap and build a business. I was able I launched a business with free information and I can promise you that when I launched my first oil and my first edge hair, my um, first edge control, which was the black and the clear, I did not have $500 to my name to give it away, honey. I had to launch and I launched with 12 bottles. Nobody knew that I launched with 12 bottles. Nobody knew that I launched my product with 12 bottles and a Fiverr ad for five bucks. And a cheesy video that I made at the salon. I launched my product line just like that. Just like that. I did everything by hand at the beginning with no problem. 
I loved what I was doing. I was happy with what I was doing. Because it made me feel good that people were trusting me. People wanted to hear me. And in turn, as they're hearing me, they're patronizing my business. Because guess what? I had so much love and so much passion for what I was doing, it couldn't do anything but shine through. You can tell when a person is just doing something because they're just doing it. It shows. You can hear it in the tone of their voice. You can see it in how they act. You can see that it feels like a job, like they're laboring doing it. I sit on here all day long and talk and talk and talk and talk and give away information and give away good gems because I like to do it. It's a place that makes me happy. So I'm not working. I'm doing something that I love and I've learned to profit from it. That is how you build a successful business business when you see people build these restaurants and these barbecue shacks and all of this stuff they build it and they launch it not because they know that oh it can make me a ton of money they do it from love first it starts at love first if you love something so much if you love something so much that you can turn it into a business you're gonna love it even more because now it's making you money and you love it it's making you money and you love it It's making you money and you absolutely love it. So now you're not even working because you're looking at it like, first of all, that means that I can do something that I actually like. It's not feeling like I'm laboring and I'm stressing and it's tearing me apart and I hate what I'm doing and this is just not for me and I shouldn't have did this. No, that's not how it feels. It's actually love, 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 love. It might be stressful at times because yes, it's considered being an entrepreneur but the love that you have for it will never back you away from it. And you'll easily profit from it because you love it so much because you could talk about it. You're not ashamed to talk about it because you love it. You have passion. That's like if you love a person, if you love your mate that much, your mate can wake up angry and you feel angry. If you have passion for someone just that much, if you don't talk to them for a certain amount of time, you feel like your whole world has stopped. That's passion, that's love. That's what that really is, passion and love. Okay, you guys? So if you have not already enrolled in our class tomorrow, which is Launch That Business, the Business Building Success Blueprint, go ahead, go to EliteHearCareUniversity.com, get enrolled for that class tomorrow, get your ideas written down, because tomorrow I am going to bridge the gap between your idea and actually launching this business. That is my goal. Tomorrow, my goal is to bridge the gap between an idea and officially launching a business. And if you don't know how to launch your business by tomorrow, then you just need to go ahead and put that, that thing up to the side because that is something that you don't want to do. It's not that complicated. All right. I love you guys. Everybody be safe. All those of you are out there. And I will see everybody in class tomorrow at noon. Peace.